This video presents the second generation autonomous heating pad control design for a lithium ion phosphate battery system built upon a 200 amp JK BMS with 2 amp balancing circuit and heating control. This slide shows the reason why heating is needed to charge lithium ion phosphate battery at cold temperatures. It is the thermodynamic factor of high charge transfer activation energy at low temperatures that makes charging sluggish and potentially harmful. The conventional wisdom seems to believe zero degrees Celsius is the threshold to apply heating. There is no magic about the zero degree point. However, it is best to start heating the battery at a few degrees above zero to avoid the latent energy needed to melt the ice in case it has been formed outside the battery. The JK BMS provides a ground path in P2 or port 2 to drive the heating circuit. Due to the small connecting terminal and wires used, it can only support 3 amp max even with 5 28 gauge wires. Our application requires 3.75 amps, so a solid state relay is used in this first generation design. A three way switch is used to select auto off or always on of the heating function. Heater power will come from the battery itself if no external charging source present. Some user intervention is required to avoid over drainage of the battery. The picture on the left is the solid state relay. The picture on the right is the high voltage turn on relay used in the second generation design, replacing the solid state relay and the three way switch. The second generation design is fully autonomous and requires no user intervention. It uses external power instead of battery to power the heating pads. The JK BMS has the built-in logic of mutual exclusivity between the charging MOSFET and heater circuit ground, meaning one or the other is activated. That is, during heating, there is no charging, or when charging, there is no heating. So this is how the second generation design works. Under normal temperatures, the relay will not see a ground path and is off, therefore drawing no power. As soon as the battery temperature drops below the BMS programmable set point, the heating port is grounded and the relay is power on and sensing the battery terminal voltage level. If no external charging source is detected, that is, the sense voltage is less than the relay programmable level, the controller will be at standby with an overhead of 7 milliamp. On the other hand, if an external charging source is detected, the relay normal open port will close and allow electricity to go through the heading pads. The overhead of the controller at closed state is about 110 milliamp, and the relay is rated 30 amp, easily handling the 3.75 amp heater current. Once the battery is warm above the cold temperature set point, the BMS will turn on charging and float the heat port ground, thus cut off power 
to the relay controller. This new design is efficient and will not draw down the battery for heating purposes. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.